Yo, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper here with Plug and Boutique, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get more out of chords from WA Production. This is a brand new chord progression plugin that generates chord progressions for you automatically. I've already done a quick intro to it. If you missed that, go ahead and check it out. This video, I'm gonna show you how to add randomization to both velocity and timing of the notes generated by chords inside of Ableton Live. DAWs will be a little bit different depending on which one you're using, but hopefully you'll be able to use these ideas and apply them inside of your DAW if you're not using live. So first of all, what do I have got? I've got chords on a MIDI track here. Then I've got a grand piano on this track and I'm getting chord, the MIDI information from chords into it. I got it set to in and if I play you'll hear that I have the chords coming into the, the progression. If I take the chords button here and drag a drop, I got my MIDI inside of Ableton Live. If I double click to open it up, you'll see that the velocity is the same. It's at 60 and that is adjustable inside of chords on a per chord basis. So if I come in here, I can easily make it quieter or louder with that slider right there. But if I want to add per note velocity randomness, I can do it a couple of ways in live. Inside, if you have a live 11 like I do here, you can just hit randomize right here. And de depending on how much randomization you want, boom, you'll see now that the velocity is randomized. Now, if you're going to drag and drop your MIDI from chords into Ableton Live, that's a great way to do it. It's very easy. It, you've got your controls right here. If you don't have Ableton Live 11, or if you wanna use chords as the driver without dragging and dropping MIDI into your DAW, what you can use is a MIDI effect called uh, Velocity, and you can just come in here to one called Add Some Random. And if I drag that not on chords, but on the grand piano, delete this clip. If I come in here to the grand piano, I've got Add Some Random right here in front of this. So the way this works now is chords generates the MIDI, it feeds it into the grand piano channel, which passes through the add some random MIDI effect before going into the grand piano. So that's with add some random. That's without. So it's already adding a bunch of character. Now let me just show you visually, right? So I have another MIDI channel here. It's got the MIDI coming in from the grand piano. So the way that again works is from chords into the grand piano, out of the grand piano, into this MIDI track. I've got it set to record. And let's just record those four chords. Okay, I've actually let it loop there twice, just to kind of show you, if I come in here and then go to auto, uh, double click, you'll see that we have all that randomness and it's actually different every time we go through. So the first chord in the four chord progression looked like this, but then when that happened again, it looked like this. So visually you can see, and I could hear it, and I'm sure you could as well, but every time with that MIDI effect, it's gonna be different every single time. So you're, it's kind of like a humanizing feel to it, okay? So that's how to randomize the velocity. Now, the cool thing about that MIDI effect is we don't need to bounce that MIDI. We don't need to bake that into anything. The MIDI effect's just gonna do its job each and every time. Now, if you wanna add some timing variations, we're again going to have to make a, a MIDI clip. If we want the velocity um, variations as well. We can do it with the velocity inside of Ableton Live or that MIDI effect inside of Ableton Live, but we're gonna need the MIDI clip, okay? And what we're gonna wanna do now to add some timing is actually add a groove. And it's right here. If I click right here, I can add a groove and really any groove is gonna do. There's some really handy ones called quantize down here at the bottom. I'm just gonna choose quantize eight. And what I wanna do is just pull this down and pull up random. And as soon as I do that, as long as I have it loaded right here, if I click right here, it will show us visually, but you don't have to bake it like that. You can leave it like this and it will just automatically add it kind of behind the scenes. But if I bake it, you'll see now that the timing of each one of the notes is a little bit different. So if I take that now, 
Um, let's just, I guess, duplicate this and just turn it on auto and put this here, come in and remove the thing. So now I just got the grand piano on the MIDI clip we've just made. If we play that. Now I've added a bunch of random, I'm at 70% usually you're not going to want to do it that much, especially on something like a piano where you're playing chords. Because, I mean, unless it's a drunk human being playing it, it's not going to be that sloppy. Or maybe that's the style you're going for. If we want to reduce that randomness, we can undo, redo, whatever. Or you'll notice here that inside of the groove, the groove is gone now. And that's because we baked it. So the groove is no longer applied. Otherwise, we'd be applying it two times over. So if I come in and choose quantize again and bring down the randomness and bake it, you'll see that it's a little bit tighter. If we can actually pull up the quantize. And now it's even, it's even more. So using something like the quantize groove or any other groove that you want, you can easily start to add as much or as little timing fluctuations and using the MIDI effect of a little bit of random for velocity or the actual velocity control inside of the clips inside of Ableton Live 11 if you have it. It's just another way to get more out of this incredible new plugin from WA Production. Anyway, I hope that helped. I hope I didn't go too fast. If I did, just rewatch it. I'm sure it all makes sense in the end. That's the way I do it inside of Ableton Live while working with chords. So I figured I'd share that information with you in a separate video. If you missed the intro video for chords, I'll leave a link to it in the video description. If you're looking to learn how to do the routing inside of Ableton Live, that is going to be in a third video, which I'll also link in the video description. But definitely check out chords if you can, because it's a phenomenal way to get quick and great chord progressions in real time. Well done to the people at WA. I'm Joshua Casper here with Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.